Alright, so this is a kind of quick video on how to permanently unjam the switch on a Fulton MX991U. I have a lot of these actually, and uh, this is the oldest one I've had. This thing's been passed down. It's probably older than I am. Uh, the thing with these, these are very reliable flashlights. The problem is when you get these things new, most of the time, based on my experience, these switches don't work. And the reason for that is there's a lot of gunk that is built up on the inside of the switch because these lights haven't changed much at all in like several decades. Uh, so even if you buy one brand new, well, for all you know, it could have been sitting in a warehouse or a factory or whatever for several years uh, before it ended up at your front door. So what you want to do to unjam these things, uh, ideally you do it after you get them, before you, you know, go camping with them or whatever. So once you get it out of the box, even if the switch is working, as I've noticed sometimes the switch works for the first two days or so and then it stops, uh, what you want to do right out of the box, get the water running. This flashlight is completely submersible, so don't worry about breaking it. Try to get as much water inside the switch as you can and keep flipping it back and forth to kind of help, you know, work out the grime that's built up on the inside of the switch. Use a momentary mode as well, or signaling mode, depending on what you want to call it. Just get a lot of water in there. And you want to keep doing that until this switch is very easy to move. It should be very easy to push back and forth, regardless of your finger strength. It should not require massive amounts of force to move. Uh, also, I've had one of these that was so hard, it was like impossible for me to do it with my fingers, it just hurt. Uh, so what I'd recommend doing in that case is getting like the, the back of a feather duster here. It's a nice wooden handle, or you could get a stick if you're out in the woods and whatnot, and you just have a stream next to you. Um, just use that, kind of push the switch like that, and keep doing that, and you know, both directions, of course, to... Move it back and forth. Keep doing that until the switch is very easy to move. And based on my experience, once you do that, this flashlight will never fail you. It's, it, the key thing is once you get it, break the switch in, rinse all the grime out of it. Uh, these things don't exactly come from the cleanest factory in the world. I'd argue that they're it's probably the dirtiest factory in the planet, or at least from all the stuff I've had brand new, these have definitely been the filthiest. Um, and yeah, just rinse it out. Once you do that, this light will never fail you. So hopefully that helped you out. Also, I will be making a follow-up video on this one that's uh, more of like a mini documentary where I talk about how waterproof this light is as well as a specific type of plastic formulation and, you know, the history behind it and all that other stuff. Pretty much everything you could ever possibly know about this flashlight. So stay tuned for that one, but... That's all for this quick little video, so I'll see you next time.